Hello, uh, back again after the last very short match. Oh, uh, somebody's done something. I can't tell. Oh, they've changed up my settings here. I can't tell. Oh, looks like we got a, a follow. That is nice. Alrighty, sorry. Uh, I should get going with this before I look over there. And we're playing ogres now. Oh, that's a bright kit. And, okay. Only two rerolls and no app. I think that's not un entirely uncommon. But anyway. Uh, let's see what they do with their 50k. I'm assuming just a babe. But yes, thanks for the follow there. Right as we got into a game. If you're watching in order, I just finished the last game about five minutes ago. <clears throat> so uh, we've gone right into another one. And it is Ogres, which is a nice fun change up. I feel like this should be good for us. Uh, it's going to be hard to pin down the Nobblers, but, uh, you know, our team should do okay at taking hits, somewhat. Uh, huh, what do we do here? I feel like we're going to do defense again. And let's get set up here. Unfortunately, our thrower has to be on the field this time because we don't have the luxury of an extra player. It's not the end of the world, though. We can still hide him. We're kinda, I think we're going to do the exact same setup we did last time, pretty much. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Alright, so yeah. Um, oh, and they've only got five ogres. That's actually pretty good. The less ogres, the better. I guess we'll just try and probably, I mean, in my mind at least, we're just going to try and tie them up. And then, um, you know... And then tie them up with non-block guys like Black Orcs and uh, regular Orcs. And then use the Blitzer's block to hurt the Nobblers. Sorry, I'm also in the middle of trying to sort out a car exchange here, so... <laughs> I may be a little uh, in and out slightly for a few minutes. Good start, good start.
Alrighty, so uh, what's happening here? Okay, so he knocks some guys over, you can get up. And now for the painful bit where we attach our guys to their guys. I hate to do it, but it's... Keeps them really penned in. Uh, I'd really like to hit a nobbler with this guy. Let's send somebody around that way. Somebody around that way. Don't really want to throw my mighty blow in uh, to the ogres, so I think we might do this as well. Because I do want to get a blitz in. Okay, I'll take uh, both down, I think. Okay, non-eventful. Um, hmm. For now, let's just split these guys up so they can potentially do something. I don't want to leave stuff too clear in the back. Oh, did I not end turn? You know, in retrospect, leaving this guy here doesn't make sense. He should be back of space. It's my fault for getting a little distracted here. Oh, that's uh, not not good. Okay, reroll used, which is nice. So if any of these blocks fail, it's turn over. So he probably wants to get situated. But the reroll's going so early is oh boy. Okay, that was wild. I don't know if that was. That, I mean, you know what? I was going to say I don't know if that's necessary. I do know. It wasn't necessary. Now these guys are good at dodging away from you, so they do have that going for them. Now we start getting hit. Oh boy, there it is. Okay, he did knock us out, which is good for him. But bad for him is where his turn ended. Let's base them as much as we can. I think he's just going to have to temporarily drop back. And we'll see if we can get in here. We may not be able to. Okay. Your choice where you want to go. And we will we'll just follow. Nice. I assume he did get a babe, right? Yeah he did. Okay. We'll attach you to these guys. Do I even get my thrower in here? No, I should have I should have a little bit of back. Okay, how risky are we feeling? I mean, not super risky if I'm being honest. Kind of fancy a one dice. Okay. Well, that paid off. Uh, where do we want to pop him? I guess here. Gives us another potential one dice. Okay. 
Ouch. But yeah, I think it's important to leave one blitzer back. Uh, otherwise, they can very quickly be around us. Okay, he has freed up a guy. I, I'm going to say it's honestly partially due to my mismanagement, but also he does. It's hard uh, unless they're spread out. It's kind of hard to um, to really mark them all up because they can always choose the direction that they push in. Okay, that guy staying down is really nice because that's two down over here now, so that frees up these. Potentially more of these guys. Well, it frees this guy up at least. Oh boy. Oh, does he. Oh! Wow. Okay, that's a lot of. That's a bad start to the game. He. Uh, what's that? Two. I mean, effectively three boneheads this turn. It's really eaten through those rerolls, but that's. Honestly, that's why Ogres are not a great team. I'm not saying he can't win this. All I'm saying is that statistically, Ogres don't tend to do super well, and this is the very reason. Their whole team is set up for failure. <laughs> now, it can also get miraculous success by demolishing the other team, and then, you know, your snotlings pulling off, uh, or nobblers as they call them there, pulling off amazing things. So you thinking of leaving that guy there? Okay. Did manage to roll another one in there, but uh, hit it at the right time. I think we just got to keep trying to work our way into this. And the big pro the other big problem with these guys is they just you you're just like three dicing all the time. Drop in here. We will You know what, let's let's put the pressure on there. I kind of want this guy to come back round as my... Yeah, so we'll bring this guy to here. So that I can actually start to use him. And instead we'll use this guy as our backup. Now can we sneak a... yeah we could. If we pop our thrower back in here, throw in a two dice with a blitzer. And if we stay, that gives us an assist for this guy. Which puts us at a one dice. If we bring another black orc around, get a two dice. If we move this guy here, he effectively ties up two guys. Very nice. We'll follow on that as well. Keep him nice and tied up. I mean, this guy is free now. But obviously he's running out of good options here. So let's see how he adapts. This is a real nice tie up. Anytime you can tie up two ogres with one player. He's not. Ha he's had some bad bonehead rolls so far. It's got to be said.
think the only thing where he's really had much luck is uh, KOing our Black Orc. I think we're looking at dodges here. Looks like he's going to come through back over this way, which makes sense. He'll be back behind the, the uh, his orcish power. I mean, his ogreish power. Hard, always hard to pin these guys down. He's got two spare as well. I think in a weird way, these um, whilst orcs are good against these guys, I actually think something like dark elves would probably probably be marginally better because you just avoid the ogres and. Um, it's much easier to get on to these guys when they move because you can potentially dodge out as well. Whereas when they move, we can't really get blitzes on on the ball carrier because he can sort of constantly keep him sort of away from us. All right, so let's see. One, two. Could try and forge a path through here. Can you get up here? You can. Okay, let's try and forge a path. There we go. So we did manage to sneak our way through. Probably wasn't expecting us to be able to knock that ogre down. Ball is officially loose. It's in a bit of a rough spot, but we can get this guy over here and have a crack at knocking this guy over. Do we pop it on the ball? I think we do. We've got a better chance of catching it if it bubbles to us than he does. Okay, and that's obviously a, a nicer position for us. Might knock this guy next to the ball. At least we'll knock him over if we do. And a stun. Uh, now it's a bit tricky. It's a one dice. Is this a one dice? No, that's not one dice, but we could make it a one dice. We've got to keep a guy back. As much as I want to run this guy, and we've got to keep him back. Arguably could dodge this guy out. He's not achieving a whole lot here. Where are we turn four? Yeah, let's go for that. Just because we have four rerolls mainly. Okay, seems like a reasonable blitz. Obviously he's at the mercy of the dice at this stage. Still has two guys that can do some work there. Probably best to come try and get the ball now before he pushes this guy, in case he gets pushes. Oh, he's going to go for three dice. That seems reasonable. 
And these guys are all pretty trapped up because obviously by surrounding us we're not giving any assists anywhere here so their superior strength trumps ours. But a 3 to 4 ratio isn't too too horrific in terms of what they're taking, taking out from us. Okay. That would be a change of change of plan. Okay, that seems more reasonable. Got it. Where's he going now? It's probably back out here because it's going to be hard to get to him up there. Staying where he is? Well. I guess we've got to try this first and see what happens, eh? See where he goes with this, maybe here? This is why I should have just done the blitz. I thought about blitzing with this guy first. Hang on. Did he did he go where I think he went? Well, let's get the heavy hitter in there then. Reroll. There we go. Um Yeah, we'll keep you where you are. I don't want him going this way, really. Okay, not terrible. Well, uh, we are kind of stuck here, though. Two dice against. Guess we can do this. Alright, that's about all we can do, really. Ball's not popping out quite where we'd like, but it's also not too horrific. Arguably not popping out where he would like, either. Going to break our armor a bit more. We well, might blow do that. Probably wants to go after the throw at some point if he can, but obviously you gotta think about the ball. Not really much better for us. I'm not sure we're going to get a chance to score here. Yeah, I mean, if we manage to even pick up the ball. Follow that. Keep these guys at least as tied up as we can. Guess we got this. Is he going to bubble onto the ball? See, stuff like this could be our undoing here. Oh, he didn't go on the ball. Okay. Ooh. It's a pity. That would have been some nice mighty blow there. Guess we at least try and take this guy out. Well, 
Okay. Uh, there's not a lot more we can do here. Two dice against there, that's obviously going to be bad as well. Let's at least keep this guy free. See what happens next turn. Everybody's running out of time to score now, really. But yeah, I kind of wanted to drop the throw back so that we have the potential, if the ball comes slightly loose, to uh, run in there, grab it, and lob it to a, a blitzer. Oh, there's that's good. Alright, can we manufacture something here? Maybe. I can get a two dice on this guy. That would be better though, because I could then chain push him off. I'm not going to get that option though, really. So you come around here. I guess we can see where the ball ends up. I guess you just stand up, probably. Oh, that guy... okay. Alright, that's a good start. Follow. Oh, that's... that's really good. Uh, yeah, it's right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's do this orc throwing thing. How hard can it be? Ooh, not, not, not easy actually. <sighs> oh, that's not where we want it to go. Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> it's not quite what we were aiming for, uh, literally, but uh, it was a oh kind drop back into play. I suppose arguably we could pick it up from a few places. Oh, that is bad for them. Because had he have got over there, that would have been very awkward to deal with. Probably just have had to flat out dodge. <clears throat> and if you're wondering why I haven't attempted to play any of the stunty teams in the... Uh, CCL yet. This is a good advertisement as to why I haven't. There is a lot of... it's sort of very much a self-punishment. <laughs> I mean, I thought we might have that with the vampires, but they, you know, they're at least somewhat manageable. This is... ogres are just... ogres are just painful. And the other stunty teams aren't a lot better. Is he going to try and do some kind of wild dodge blitz thing? Nope. Did, I wonder if this guy, maybe this guy was going to blitz. If 
you're gonna foul, that's the guy to foul, for sure. Um, let's go for this. Okay, nice. Oh. My head is pointing. This is not nearly as sensible. Okay. <laughs> that was, um, I, I, you could call that flat out. Fight out greed. Because obviously we'd, using a reroll would be terrible there because we really need to save it for this. Oh, we'll level up for Brogtong Manhart. Very nice. Oh, he stayed out. How many come back for them? Just the one. So, are they going to be down? I don't think we've done too much. I don't think they're down any players, which is to be expected, really. But more importantly, we scored the touchdown, so the onus is not on us to force the issue here. The onus is more on him to try and kind of punch his way through. I think we are going to attempt to knock down the front line. Or as much as we can of it anyway. But we should not do it in a way that sacrifices our... Uh, what would you call it? Safety. But yeah, we'll probably try and slip somebody in there and then work our way along as, as best as we can. It's awkward because we're trying to make up such a strength difference. See, and that's that's the danger. Now, how close can they get? Not quite close enough, but this is certainly tricky. The way I've set up is intended to not let him easily slip through here with ogres. Like he can come and blitz this guy or he can come and blitz this guy. Obviously the nobblers can slip through like nobody's business but looks like they're gonna go Go for a blitz on that side. Oh, they're marking us up on both sides, which means that a nobbler's definitely getting hit somewhere because he can't blitz two of them. Okay, it looks like he's trying to tie up our players. Which, I don't know. I'm not sure it's the ideal. Oh, that's, that's also not the ideal. Okay, and he's given us another potential block on a nubbler there. And didn't... Okay, he's following up there. Fair enough. I think it would be worth his while at least sending one or two through. you got to threaten just in case. If I fail to pick up the ball here, which is not a ridiculously unlikely event, then um, having somebody there that could potentially slip out of my grasp seems worth doing. But he's not really advanced very hard. There's Bad Nick, our pickup after the last game. Oh, that's that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's that's some pressure. 
Okay, it's next to us, which is good. So there's not much we can do about this. We just have to block and uh, hope that we break his team enough. So we followed there, that's very nice. I guess I could have blitzed and come round to, to press. Okay, not nearly so good. Which way are you going? Could slip round here. Okay, he's going that way. We'll just stay where we're at then. I mean, no, he's not free, of course. Uh, let's see, this is only a two dice. And we'll stay where we're at. Uh, will we? No, we'll actually follow there. Alright, now we're at the end of good things, so we kind of have to do this. Okay, that's a little wild, but we're going to try it. Okay, fair enough. He's probably going to stick to us. Got to hit those nobblers as often as you can. Now I'd like to free somebody up here. So we're going to try this. Hmm, didn't really work. That's right, we're down a player. Yeah, that would have been useful. Oh, we were anyway. We're now uh, equal. So I think the tech, I think the plan here is uh, push all the nobblers through and get a block on our thrower and grab the ball with one of them. Because obviously they're dodging on two pluses everywhere, so what's that? So one more and he'll have equal strength, and then he can throw in a last one for a two dice. And our thrower is by no means immune. Oh, he's just going for the one. It's risky. You can push him and do another one, but he's now pushing him. He's going to have to get another assist over here just to get a one dice again. And it also means that this guy is now not going to be free to pick up the ball. So somebody else is going to have to head over here and get that. Which means that probably nobody will grab the ball this turn. So I think getting this guy over last turn to get the two dice would have been more, more solid. Good work, you lag. Good news is, either he didn't stand this guy up or he boneheaded. So we are still free here. And I guess we will come in here. Oh, that's a predicament. I guess we'll do this. Okay, that's why we use the uh, blitzer. Now we're a little trapped up again, so I feel like we're still not in the best of positions here. And there we go again. And Uglug has decided to uh, join. <laughs> Join our KOs, so I think it's fair to say we're there is danger. Uh, certainly, they can at least force a one dice here. Uh, it would probably have to be the probably have to be the blitzer who whoever blitzes. I mean, who would actually have to grab the ball as well. Or is he, I suppose he could go for the wild two dice against. 
Okay, he's just bringing an ogre in. Well, not a terrible idea, to be honest. Oof. That is not what we needed. No long-term effect, though. We'll let it go. Coming in here, maybe? No, it's going to have to be here. Yeah. So now we really need to get out, and that's not going to be easy. The splits is turning out to be a bit of a problem. He even has a one dice here. Which then this guy okay. So that was actually a very solid play that I didn't even didn't even think of that. Don't worry about this. Get your one dice. Get me to drop the ball and run off with it and get a potential draw from what looked like a bad result. Okay, that does free up Zugor, which is good. Alright, let's see how this goes. If he knocks it loose, he is uh, hes potentially in here. It's very hard to get my guys extricated. Yeah, it's not good for this guy. It's this guy that does it. This guy that picks up the ball. Can't get him, but he can get far enough away that we can't reach him with any great ease. I wonder what he's waiting on. What's he considering here? This is probably as good a chance as he'll get, so I think... Well, I say that. He's got an okay situation developing here. Okay, what's 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 going on? Because now that's two dice. I guess he's just not going for it. Okay, so he's got playing the slightly longer game, which I do admire him for. We're in danger of needing to dodge here. Oof. Oof. Okay, that could work out if he pushes him towards this guy. It gives us a little bit of an opportunity. Oh, well that's a two dice, so it is really a little bit of an opportunity. Okay, not what we wanted, but it gets us away from the ogre temporarily. And then you can go stand by the ogre. Yeah, this is really working somewhat in his favour here, and there's not a lot we can do about it without doing some uh, three pluses or worse. So, uh, dangerous times. Especially with the, the Black Orcs kind of fading off the field. The, the Blitz has really put us a cropper as as blitzes often do. Okay, still blitzing with that guy. Jimmy's gonna reconnect with our uh, thrower here. Boy, I really feel outnumbered. I guess we are. We do have three guys out. Or at least, if we're not outnumbered. But I think the problem is, as it goes on, the fact that we can't... Okay, that's really good. We took it as well, that's nice. Yeah. 
I mean, aside from the fact that it still means he has a reroll left, which is always a worry. Be nice to clear those out. Okay. If we can run him out of these guys, that would be uh, severely useful. Don't know that I can disconnect my thrower, which is bad, because I'm gonna that means I'm gonna have to dodge. Okay, nice. Oh dear. Yes, yeah, is a definite dodge situation. Okay. Uh, now where do I want to go is the question. Do I just start moving up? I think I have to stay here for a bit. Well, maybe here. Oh, it's tricky though, honestly. Because he's probably going to be able to get an ogre on me wherever I go. If I go too far up this way, I get away from my good players, my my blitzers. I kind of want to stay close to them. I assume he's just going to blitz and yeah, blitz and reconnect. Okay, that's good. My okay, he didn't reroll it. That's really good because that frees us up now. Unless he's going to do something wild. And that gives us a lot more positioning. It's tricky, I see why he's holding on to the reroll, but at the same time, you're getting to the point where having that reroll, it might be too late for that reroll to, to be useful. The dodge with the throw was not necessarily game winning or game losing, but it was pretty huge that it went off. If it hadn't gone off, the ball's kind of scattered here, but we still have a solid core of players around it, so I don't think it's the most, it wouldn't have been the dis most disastrous of disasters. Okay, the boneheads have started kicking back in. I think we're going to try and move up with our thrower. Very nice. Very nice again. Um, hmm. Okay, you're also boneheaded, so I guess we'll go here. Yeah. 
here. Yeah, it's kind of tricky to work out what they're going to do and what I should do, but okay, we'll go with that. Time is beginning to run out and positioning is getting better, so, you know, it's hard to get. Yeah, so if he gets this and he gets this, he does have a path through to the thrower. Oh, yeah, I don't think I'd have done that, although it does at least get him on the ball. He's kind of going for a lockdown. Now, if it was nil-nil, I, I would think these tactics would make more sense, but I think trying to hit this guy down and then trying to come through for the blitz would make, you know, more of a potential impact on the game in terms of result. All right, so these these two are locked down as well, so that's good. This guy is still okay. The fact that this guy is here is a problem because it means well, no, we can potentially blitz this guy and then at least get a one dice on this guy and then maybe move up, but it's kind of dependent on what happens. Oh, that's interesting. We can at least move the nobbler off the ball, because if we blitz from this direction, he can't remain stuck on it. Alright, so you're getting up. And if we knock him down, we can get a, a one dice on the ogre here with block, which... There we go. Uh, yeah, we'll leave him there, because he's on the wrong side he doesn't want to be on. Yeah, anything but a skull there is fine. Uh, do we switch sides? Yeah, I guess we try and start to switch sides. You're going to have to mark him up. You, unfortunately, are going to have to mark him up. That's as much as we can do. I don't know that we'll score here. I mean, it's certainly possible. But I th think we should at least be able to take it away from him. So that they don't score, but no guarantees. There's still a couple of knobbers kicking around. If he decides to get bold with his plays. Looks like he's yeah, he's still just playing preventative though. Which I mean it would be hard not to this turn. Because even a dodge it's not even a good dodge, it's into a terrible area, so he'd basically be dodging on a six and then probably another dodge. So I understand it this turn. Could have maybe knocked that guy over and then done a dodge blitz through. Okay. Is he going to try and get this guy up there as well? No, he can't. So I think the plan, if we can, is to get somebody here and then try and blitz out with the, with the thrower. It is not a foolproof plan by any means. Okay, his, his blocking has certainly improved this half. He hasn't had to use rerolls on blocking. He hasn't actually done horrifically for injuries, considering how many how many uh, possibilities he's given us. Uh, 
Oh, that's actually enough to make that awkward, weirdly enough. KO wouldn't have been, but now I can't run through that space. Uh, I guess I can do this, which would still make that uh, three dice. I mean, arguably the best thing to do is... I think this might actually be the best thing to do. Because block means there's a much better chance and then we just have to dodge away. Rather than rely on rolling a pair with our thrower. Yeah, I see. Let's move up one more. The fact that that guy is stunned and that guy is stunned is actually huge. Then we try and run away. Successfully. I guess we could just try and go in, huh? Yeah. Uh, we're not elves, we're not trying to like get it to one last turn, and our Black Orc would I, I think have to GFI twice to um, to tie the ogre down, so just seemed like a sensible thing to do. We had to GFI twice either way. Alrighty, so uh, it's runaway time. Um, we'll leave Nabra out there. Sorry, sorry, brother, if you're watching this. Nabra was always his one. Gobble was always mine, <laughs> and they're the two that left on the field. So this is how it must be. But I'll protect him the best I can. So yeah, uh, there we go. That's that's what we were hoping for. It definitely got uh, fishy when, when it came down here, but there was only so much we could do about that because the Noblars are by nature slippery. That's that's their, their sort of one redeeming feature is they can be really hard to get away from when you're on offense if they can glue two or three of them onto your players. And with the Blitz, he was able to choose, choose the engagement so we weren't able to protect the ball at all. So it was rough. But um, thankfully, things didn't go too sideways. Definitely not a as clean a drive as we'd have liked, though. More of a sort of desperately try and hold at least some semblance of uh, positional play until we could uh, till we could get the ball under control. Which did not seem like it was going to be uh, a certainty, for sure. I'd argue that honestly, our opponent should have gone, for, should have gone for the two dice, and things could have ended up very different. I think he was going for the. Uh, Going for the old, whatever you call it. Um, see if we can level Bad Nick up. Seems unlikely. Reroll. Oh, I couldn't even get the both down. No need to stay connected, we don't have another turn. And I'll see if I can save Nabrat. I mean, it's better than Mighty Blow. Just about. 
Three Black Orcs, eh? It's impressive. I guess if there was a game where we wanted that, it would be this one. <laughs> it's it's funny how bad Strength 4 is suddenly when you're against Strength 5. There you go. Three skulls. And that's why you don't take Treeman blocks on the last turn before you score of a drive. Because you just never know when those three skulls are going to show up. I guess we saved Nabrat a foul as well. Because I assume Zakash is getting stomped on by something. What would I do in this situation? I think I would try and get an SPP on an Ogre, because obviously everyone that you get one SPP on is a, a what do you call it, a way? What do you call it? A uh, man of the match away. Oh, can they? They can pass. Okay, he's passing. Oh, I guess he's going for the touchdown still. Fair enough. Oh, it looks like it might work. Excitingly. Oh, I even... Yeah, I forgot I... Okay, yeah, go for it, little guy. Made it. <laughs> well, good for him. That's the power of Noblas. It's nice, nice that he got something out of the game, because... Especially the first half was, was painful. I guess it's somewhat evened out with the blitz on the second half being such an issue, but uh, yeah, he really suffered from some major boneheads in the first. I wonder if that evened out. Started to get a few more towards the end. Oh, another Black Orc with a Man of the Match, that's good. And an Ogre for him, he'll be happy with that. Let's have a look, because there was a lot of them, really. Bonehead. Oh, there you go, you see? Early terrible, but the second half barely rolled any till the end there. Yeah, good stuff. I'd say armor, honestly... Um, I don't think that went too well. I think in the end, the game sort of evened itself out in terms of the, the luck. Between Black Orcs kind of getting KO'd, which is not what you'd necessarily always expect, especially some of the KOs. And um, and the Blitz, I think it did help to somewhat mitigate how the first half went. Alright, so we'll block him up. Hope for double next time. He's now that little bit more uh, hard to knock over. And also more useful on defense, right? Uh, now, what did I say I was going to get? Tackle, I think. Do we? We don't. I'm not somebody that goes nuts on mighty blow. Um, I prefer a bit of guard, but hmm. I think we get a tackler. It's not exciting, but we'll regret it if we face a number of teams. Amazons, Ogres again, the Halflings, any Elves with any level ups. There's, yeah, there's plenty of dodge around. And it's a skill that you, you, you want to get on somebody. So we'll probably end up getting him a mighty blow after this. These guys might go guard. We'll see how fast the Black Orcs level up. We got two that, that are close, so uh, it's certainly possible. But yeah, all is going well in the Orc camp. Uh, we will call it there for today. Slip two games in because our first game was almost non-existent. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, it's always always fun to play the Orcs. Well, mostly always fun to play the Orcs. Uh, they, they're they a very solid team, both physically and uh, 
trying to think of the term, but in game terms as well. Uh, we will see you soon, and bye for now.